here. Okay. Honorable Jiri Roshmani Pokhril, Minister of Education, Science and Technology. Namaskar. Dr. Sanjay Sharma, Secretary of the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology. Namaskar. Dr. Indira Dali and members of the board of Dr. Dili Raman Regmi Foundation. Namaskar. Namaskar to the Reed, Nepal Executive Director. Pushpa Patel and the vibrant and creative Reed, Nepal staff and volunteers. Namaskar to the Nepal Reed Board, who've done an amazing job overseeing Reed's program. And finally, Namaskar to Mahabir, whom I've known for many years, to the Reed Nepal Reed Global Board staff and friends in the United States and overseas who've given their love and support to Reed Nepal over the past 30 years and are staying up late to watch. Standing here today before all of you, I feel honored, humbled, and if I may say so, validated. First of all, I'm honored to be the recipient of an award in the memory of the life and legacy of Dr. Dili Raman Reh. A man who, to quote, epitomized high moral values, Gandhian philosophy, a quest for knowledge, farsightedness, and was an untiring fighter to bring freedom and democracy to Nepal. His goals and those of the Reed Nepal Community Library Resource Centers are congruent to be islands of peace where there's conflict, repositories of information that encourage critical thinking, creativity, and an understanding of the thoughts and emotions that motivate judgments and decisions, places where people of all ages, castes, sexes, and backgrounds come together to learn, to discuss, and to grow. If one wants to create a world where freedom and democracy can flourish, education must be the cornerstone and libraries help to open the door to knowledge for all. Read Nepal, read Global, and I am honored to be a tiny part of the heritage of this great Nepali hero. Secondly, I'm truly humbled to be presented with this award. Yes, I had an idea, but this idea would have been stuck in Nepal's Rato Mato were it not for those in Reed Nepal who turned this dream into reality. That Reed Nepal has been successful is due to the belief in the practices and values Reed stands for and the hard work board and its staff. The initial Reed board was put together by another great man of Nepal, Ling Singh Bhante. He recruited such icons of society as Dr. Mohan Sanju, Shankaraj Pata, Dr. Suresh Raj Sharma, Rita Tapa, and Dr. Shanti Basnet, without whom there would be no Reed. Reed was built on the foundation that all people want and can succeed if only one can point out the path and open the doors. It was built on faith in the villagers, Nepal's often disparaged government, who too often were ignored by politicians and government. Recognition must go to read Nepal's first country director, Sharad Babu Shrestha, a man of the people who was not afraid to drink rakshi on the floor of a village hut and believed in the ground up philosophy of development. For Reed, every library community center had to be initiated by the community. If villagers were not willing to write an initial proposal or invest 15 to 20% of their own money in the center, they would likely not care for the building. 
I'll never forget the comment of the school bas- schoolmaster in Jimbasi back in 1990. You Westerners come in and you build us schools and hospitals. Then you expect us to support them. But we're poor farmers and can barely support ourselves. His comment inspired the principle that each center had to have a business that would fully sustain and support the center, providing jobs for a community and serving as a local asset, not a liability. Further to read, a center belonged totally to the village, not the parent organization, and existed as the village's NGO with its own board, bank account, and employees. Reed Nepal's staff believed in these founding principles, and in the beginning, when there was little or no money, worked tirelessly often with no pay to inspire, help, guide, and learn from communities. At one point, funding was so precarious that Chinkaji and Sanjana, today's Reed Global Executive Director, made a pilgrimage to Manakamada with a chicken, hoping that the sacrifice would help find money to pay Reed Village construction and Reed Nepal staff. Village ownership of the Reed centers was most apparent during the Civil War, when no one from either side ever harmed a library. Other buildings were bombed because they belonged to one group or another, but the library belonged to the village and was sacrosanct. Local Reed villagers feel part of a greater Reed Nepal community. During the earthquake, Reed villages that were spared helped other affected hamlets, bringing food, tarps for shelter, helping with reconstruction, providing safe places for children to sleep, play, and learn. When other groups returned home, Reed Nepal was on the ground to stay and continue to help. During today's COVID-19 crisis, Reed villagers and staff have provided food and supplies to poor, marginalized communities and others in need, created a relief fund, assisted returning migrants, provided sanitizer, PPE, and educated people about COVID-19. They've organized immunization and prenatal care on the Reed premises for those afraid to travel to hospitals. They provided ambulance services, provided mobile libraries, book lending, internet access, and other outreach. Last, this award is testimony to how far Nepal has evolved in the 30 years since Reed began. In those days, when I first started talking about building libraries, people dismissed the concept saying, nobody cares about libraries. They chuckled at a middle-aged short woman who'd never served with the Peace Corps, USAID, or the World Bank, and had never climbed Mount Everest. Frustrated, I said, I'll do it myself. Clearly, I did not do it myself. Today, centers boast a minimum of 3,000 to 5,000 books in Nepali, from preschool to adult, as well as internet and other services. Locals of all ages in Reed villages finally have sufficient books and rural students are able to study for their school leaving certificate. Centers host clinics, microcredit, women's savings banks, and other community functions. These days, the word library is part of Nepal's national vocabulary. That the Regman Foundation would honor me, read Nepal, read Global, is testimony to the importance that libraries have assumed in the country. Certainly, though, read centers are far more than libraries. They've become the heart and soul of their communities in times of peace and prosperity and in times of crisis. Ultimately, Read Nepal does not just build libraries. 
the organization builds communities. Dr. Dili Raman Regmi must be smiling down from Tushita Heaven. Thank you and thank you, Dr. Regmi.